Well, how are we doing out there? I hope you're all absolutely spot on. And welcome to Cooking with Gaz. <laughs> I'm doing some cooking. It's totally different, this one. I thought I'll do a cookery... Uh... I thought I'd cook a chilli. I thought I'd cook a chilli, and I'm going to use this as, as the chilli form. In it. It's called Regret. Um, and uh, this was a gift. So thank you very much for sending me this. I'm going to incorporate in a chilli. But I'm going to do some uh, chilli nachos. I've just been shopping this morning. I've done a video um, where I go out and about in Barrow and I have a look for all the ingredients and what I thought, what a nightmare. I had a lot of them, but I needed to get a few little specialist ones. So I'll show you what I got. So I got these in um, Asda and they were three for 3 50 So I got, I got El, old El Paso and I got some of these as well. So these are one, one and a half quid. Uh, I was looking at the Doritos, they were two quid, £1.99 for a, a bag of Doritos. I went, oh, I went back to the El Pasos. I thought I'll get that. So look at all the other ingredients as well. Have a look at this. So I've got some steak. I'm no chef. I'm no chef, by the way. Uh, I'm just going to have, have a crack at doing this, see how it goes. So I'll, I'll talk you through the stages. So let's crack, let's crack on. <laughs> So I'm not, like I say, I'm no chef and I might I miss, I miss a few ingredients. So I'm just going to, I'm going to chop an onion. This is how I chop an onion. So I'll take the bottom off or the top. I don't, depending on which way you want to do it. So I'll cut it in half like that. And then I just take the outer shell off. And it wants to come off. Just like that. So I'm going to finally chop this onion. So I'll get rid of all that. And what I do here, I just put some lines down through it like that. Are we on? Can you see? Yeah, you can see. Just put some lines down like that. Watch your fingers as well. And you can go across this side as well, look. Like that. And then all you do then is, with your fingers, tuck them out the way, tuck them underneath, just like that. Just like that. And I always just get the end bit, and then... It, if you leave the root on, it keeps it all together, you see. So that's that one done. I, I won't bore you with doing the other half. So I'm going to try my new garlic crusher. This was a gift as well. Thank you very much. There we go. Look at that. Oh. I normally use a knife to chop my garlic, but uh, yeah, look at that. Quite old garlic as well, it's got a bit of a root in it. There we go, look at that, that's perfect that, isn't it? So you just take that off then, throw that away and that's that. Brilliant. Brilliant. You can always just give it a little chop up as well, can't you? Any little bits left? No. I don't suppose any of these ingredients will matter when, once I put this stuff in. I think this is just going to dominate everything. This regret sauce, it's 12 million Scovilles apparently that is. So yeah, so I'm going to get some oil in here now. So I just got some of that oil. Gold cold pressed rapeseed oil. I'm going to put some of that in. Just a couple of glugs. Apparently it's got a high flash point this. So I'm going to use that. Don't know why, but I'm going to use it. So I'm just going to put my onions in now. I'm just going to... Just slightly sort of fry them for a few minutes. There we go, I'm not putting the garlic in yet. So I'm just going to put a bit of salt with the onions, just a little bit, only a little bit. I always try to layer the salt up in stages with the ingredients that go in, you see. I learned that on the television by a top chef. So I'm going to put some tomato puree in with my onions now. So, you know, you always get the puree out, it's always like that, isn't it? It is in my house anyway, so there's not a lot in, so I'm just going to stick some puree in with the onions and let that cook through with them onions. Now I'm going to put the garlic in. Oh, I love the smell of garlic. Gorgeous. 
So I'm going to add the minced beef now. I've, I've, I've took half of it off because I've got a feeling that will be the only one eating this. <laughs> I'll put the other half in the fridge. So I'm going to let that cook down now in there. I'm going to add some more salt as well. So I'm going to add some ground cumin now. So I'll get a, get a bit of that in, look. Not a lot, that'll do. And also I'm going to put some paprika in as well. Not a lot, you don't need a lot. <laughs> a bit dry up there, but never mind. So I'm going to, I'm going to add all out now. Let that cook a bit, get it all nice and cooked in. Oh, it smells gorgeous. Oh. Well, I was about to put this bursting flavour rich beef cute like stock in, but I just noticed it's got with onion and rosemary on it, so that ain't going in. <laughs> I'm glad I noticed that. So I'm going to add my passata. It's been cooking for a bit, so I'm just going to add my passata now. I'll probably put about half of it in. So I'm just going to let that cook away. Cook away. Let it get up to temp again and cook away for about another 10 minutes. So what I've done, I, done, I drained me, um, I put, poured my kidney beans in there. I just rinsed them off under the water. Get rid of all that like gloopiness. So I'm going to put my kidney beans in now. I'm not going to put them all in. I'm just going to put it, say, that many in. <laughs> About 345. <laughs> so I'm going to put some of this in now. This regret salt, this regret uh, chili. So that's it there, look. Can you see? See what this is like. So I'm going to use me. I'm going to put a bit that much in. Look. Can you see? Shaking. <laughs> so I just put that in there now. I'm going to. I'm going to see what that's like. So I'm mixing it all in and mix it round. I know I'm a red pepper missing. I'm a few ingredients missing, but I'm. I like to say I'm just. I'm just me. <laughs> so I'm going to try this now. I'm going to see what it's like. It's only befitting, isn't it? So have a little try. Um, there's a little bit in the in the lid. I'll see what that's like. Look, I know it's only a little bit. Let's see what this is like. Them Car Carolina Reapers have got a very distinct flavour, I've noticed that. And that's no different. I tasted it on that chip. <coughs> Goodness gracious me, I only had a little bit. Right, so this is... <laughs> I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to put a lid on it. God, that is strong, that stuff. I only had a little bit as well, didn't I? That's enough. Cool. I'm going to put a lid on this and I'll bring you back in a sec. Oh, so I've just had to move it onto the back one because it was just um, it's just too ferocious. And, I, and I'll be honest, I can't fit. My tongue's gone all numb and all, all my mouth here's gone all numb. I only had a little bit of that stuff. You only, only need a bit of that. Wow, that is that is hot stuff. So I'm going to try this. I'm going to see what sort. Of, I mean, I won't be able to taste it because it, all my tongue, all like it's all just burning. So I'm going to see what this is like. See how what sort of level of heat we've got here with this. So there we, there it is. Look.
Oh, I can feel, I can taste the heat. Wow, wow. Go oh, and he put a little smidgens of that in as well. Just a little smidgens. Wowzers. Oh, oh yeah, that's uh... Whoa. As the old take that, I'd say, relight my fire. <laughs> You know what? I'm gonna put some more in. <laughs> I'm gonna put some more of this stuff in. Here it is, look. So there we go, look. Let's get that mixed in. Oh, it's gonna be, it's took it past my, my good lady won't eat that now. That's that. So I'm going to let them ingredients get to know each other for a, a, a little bit. So I'm going to put some ketchup in as well. This is a top tip this. If you haven't got ketchup, use sugar, but it just adds a bit of sweetness to it. Just a little bit, a tablespoon maybe. It's just, um, I mean, I put passata in, that's quite sweet, but I, I find if you put a bit of ketchup in, you know, it just, um, it just gives it a bit of sweetness. So look at that. I'll give it another few minutes. So I'm gonna I'm gonna make my bed. My bed of nachos for my chili. Look at that. I mean, you think yeah, oh, you're getting a massive bag. You look at that. You're getting a huge bag. Look how many. Look how far down that is there. I'm gonna have to get a lift to get that now. I'm gonna have to get a rope in and go down and get it out. Look how far down it is. Unbelievable, isn't it? Talk about waste of packaging. Unbelievable. They all do it though, don't they? They all do it. Every single one. Guilty of it. Trying to cut down on packaging. Oh man. I don't want to get political. Leave me out of it. So I'll put these on here. Oh, this is going to be my lunch. I can't wait for this. Oh, I can't wait for this. Oh, I'm getting excited. Even my uh, selfie stick's going a bit nuts, so <laughs> it's that chilly. That's what it does to you. Gets all your endorphins going. So if you like this kind of content, please give the video a thumbs up. More of this sort of viewing to come. And um, if you haven't subscribed, then hit that subscribe button uh, and the bell icon and you won't miss any of my videos. I'm going away this weekend, so my video upload or download is going to be um, all over the shop so if you've subscribed then you won't miss them and keep the comments coming in as well I like to I like to um, I like the feedback I like comments um, and I'll, I'll get back to you as quick as I can like I say I'm going on a road trip tomorrow uh, to my brothers so I'm going to do a few videos and my brother is going to be on on video as well we're going to do um, a, a peanut review <laughs> or a nut review shall i say what's saying out else but it's it's lurking in the corner back there look <laughs> right so it's about time we got all that on there now isn't it so let's get this chili on here let's get some blobs of it so i like to just sort of blob it around you know um bit there bit there bit there so and a bit there so there we go, that's enough. That'll be enough for me. I'll put that to one side. Um, so let's get this leathered up, lathered up. Let's get some salsa on it. Bit of salsa, sort of splodge that around all over the shop really. Salsa. And then we got some guacamole. Get that on as well, sort of splodge it around. Oh, look at that. There we go, look at that. And then I also I like to put these on as well. Jalapenos. I'm dying to say jalapenos. <laughs> so let's get some of these on as well. Oh, I, just, I can't wait for this. I just need a, a sombrero now, don't I? Get a sombrero on. Right, so, and, and you need cheese as well, don't you? So I'll get some grated cheese, look. And sprinkle all that around there, look. Get that good sprinkling. Can't go wrong with cheese. 
Cheese is a winner, isn't it? Cheese is a winner, winner. Let's just try that. Mmm. Oh, that is gorgeous. They're lovely, then. So, let's just sprinkle a little bit of paprika over the top as well. Just to give it a bit of a... Uh, Put a little, a little bit more. There we go, like that. So it's not finished yet. It's not finished yet because it's gonna go under the grill. So I've got the grill on and it's just gonna go under there for a five minutes or so. So I've got my first Christmas card as well and um, it just come through as ball foodie guy. Uh, to Gareth and family thought we would send you, your family, a Christmas card. Wow. We all love your YouTube channel. Keep the videos coming. Love, um, take care. Lots of love from Lee, Sarah and twins, Archie and Phoebe, the Mertons. So that was a, a lovely touch. So thank you very much for that. I do appreciate it. So it's done. Look at that. Oh, I can't, let me, hang on a minute. So let me get a, let me get a bit of better light for you. There we go, look at that. So this is my um, regret nacho chili. So let's get into this. Oh, look at this. Cheese, nachos. I mean, you, I'm gonna use my hands after like. I'm gonna use my hands, but I just thought I'd, um, I get a fork. Fork on the situation. There we go. Look at that. Mm. <laughs> oh. oh, it's gorgeous. I mean, I would say that, wouldn't I? I mean, I, <laughs> I made it, but. You can't go wrong, can you? I'm going to get my fingers in here. Let's be fair, with all cheese and chilli. Oh. Mmm. Now look at that. It's beautiful. It really is. It's a 10 out of 10. <laughs> I'm only joking. <laughs> it's lovely, and I'm going to get into that now, because it's my lunch, so... Thank you very much for watching. If you got this far, you get a thumbs up from me. I do appreciate it. Take care. Keep the comments coming in. Let me know what your chilies are like. All the best, and I'll catch you on the next one.